हेलो अगेन सो टुडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट स्टेजेस ऑफ लेबर ओके लेबर मीन्स चाइल्ड बर्थ चाइल्ड बर्थ प्रोसेस राइट सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ आवर मिड वाइफ एरिया एंड ऑब्सटेटिकल नर्सिंग सो या लेट्स स्टार्ट एंड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग यू ऑल नो वॉट टू डू लाइक एंड शेयर माई वीडियोज एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट इफ दे आस्क यू दिस क्वेश्चन दैट यू नो एक्सप्लेन द स्टेजेस ऑफ लेबर सो यू विल राइट द एंसर इन दिस द फॉलोइंग पैटर्न ओके so let's start so at first you will start writing your answer with meaning of labor okay what is the meaning of this word labor let's see labor means the act of mother giving birth okay the act of mother giving birth okay so it is a you know process of child birth process of giving birth this process is called labor okay or you can write this meaning also the time period during which a mother gives birth okay a time period during which a mother gives birth mother gives birth and that time period that whole time period is called labor okay yeah so i hope the meaning is clear okay so let's start the definition series of event in female reproductive इन अवर फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम ओके अगेन आई विल रिपीट अ सीरीज अ सीरीज ऑफ इवेंट इन अवर फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम ओके सो वी आर वेन वी आर गिविंग बर्थ टू अर अ चाइल्ड देर आर इवेंट्स नो इन दैट पीरियड देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ इवेंट्स ऑकरिंग राइट दैट कॉज द बर्थ ऑफ अ बेबी ओके दैट हेल्प्स दैट इवेंट्स ऑल दैट इवेंट्स हेल्प्स इन you know child birth process so that process we are talking about okay in female reproductive system two to expel out viable products to what is the meaning of viable viable means a thing which is a you know a, a product which is capable of surviving okay so our baby our baby is a product of conception who are you know who is capable of living right surviving in the outside world so that is called expel out that viable products viable means living or surviving okay so expelling out you know removing that viable products from our female reproductive system in extra uterine life okay in extra uterine life what is the meaning of extra uterine life our baby is you know our baby during uh, during our pregnancy our baby grow in our uterus no so extra uterine life means outside the uterus means in the world outside world to expel out that baby outside the world the events which takes place during that process is called labor i hope the definition is clear let's understand the second definition also child birth labor is what called also called child birth the process of delivering a baby and the the baby and the placenta which placenta provides nutrients to the baby oxygen to the baby membranes and umbilical cord by through umbilical cord the baby got all the you know gets all the uh, nutrients from the uterus to the vagina and to the outside world okay so baby placenta umbilical cord membranes all are delivering okay all are expelling out from the uterus to the vagina to the outside world from the uterus to the vagina to the outside world okay so i hope the definitions are clear now let's understand this normal labor and abnormal labor okay so there are some criteria there are some characteristics of normal labor and some characteristics of abnormal labor too let's see that okay so normal labor also called eutocia okay eutocia okay and abnormal labor called dystocia normal labor means term delivery means after 37 weeks delivery is uh, normally called usually called normal labor okay and before 37 weeks or after 37 weeks it comes under preterm or postterm it comes under abnormal labor now spontaneous means without any complication it comes under normal labor and if there is any complication then we will call it abnormal labor and without any instrument or oxytoxic agent oxytoxic agent means oxytocin which you know helps in uterine contraction 
and so without any instrument instrumental delivery we call it normal labor and if there is any you know if you are using any instrument to deliver the baby then you will call it abnormal labor so i hope that criteria are clear now let's understand the stages of labor okay there are some stages in which the baby is delivered okay so yeah see first stage second stage third stage and fourth stage so there are four stage okay four stages of labor okay now the first stage is further divided into three stages which is latent active and transient okay first stage okay i will explain each this each of these you know stages in detail let's see let's start with first stage and first stage is further divided into three portion the first portion first phase is latent phase now let's see which uh, what are the uh, you know processes happening what are the events occurring in this latent phase now let's see okay so the hypothalamus okay hypothalamus stimulate acth acth what acth means adrenocorticotropic hormone by anterior pituitary fetal hypothalamus okay hypothalamus means brain you can say so fetal brain first at first you know during the labor at first fetal you know brain stimulate the acth hormone by anterior pituitary okay so fetal hypothalamus go to anterior pituitary and hypothalamus give order to hype and you know anterior pituitary he tells anterior pituitary to you know release acth hormone and you know corticotropic hormone now acth hormone is released by anterior pituitary acth hormone will go to adrenal gland okay adrenal gland means baby's kidney to adrenal gland of fetus ACTH goes there and ACTH tells the adrenal gland to release cortisol okay which leads to cortisol release from adrenal gland of fetus let's see in the diagram see this is the you know baby uh, in the uterus so babies you know hypothalamus baby's brain during the time when the labor starts okay when the labor start at first stage baby's hypothalamus will tell the anterior pituitary to stimulate the to go and release uh you know release acth hormone then acth hormone is going to adrenal gland fetal kidney okay acth hormone is going to adrenal gland of fetal kidney then tell them to release cortisol then cortisol is going to placenta okay let's see adrenal gland release cortisol okay so you know uh, hypothalamus fetal hypothalamus give order to anterior pituitary to release acth acth released and go to adrenal gland of fetal kidney um, fetus kidney you know after that kidney you, means adrenal gland basically adrenal gland release cortisol now what cortisol do cortisol will stimulate the placenta okay cortisol will stimulate the placenta now placenta then what will do placenta then release prostaglandin estrogen and decrease the progesterone increase okay mm, progesterone your progesterone you know secretion basically you can say so then placenta will release prostaglandin and estrogen so what prost prostaglandin what he will do prostaglandin will make the uterine contraction okay helps in uterine contraction now let's see that see fetal hypothalamus stimulate adrenal gland okay fetal hypothalamus first tell the anterior pituitary anterior pituitary release acth acth will go to you know uh, kidney adrenal gland adrenal gland will release cortisol cortisol then stimulate the placenta placenta provides nutrients and oxygen to the baby now placenta will you know release the prostaglandin then prostaglandin will stimulate uterine contraction and when uterine contraction start we can say the labor also starts okay uterine contraction helps to uh, come the baby out of the uterus okay yeah rest of the topic i will explain on my next part of the video thank you